All right, Kevin at Lifestyle Cycles here today, and I've got Kyle out here again with me from LA Choppers to do some talking and information about the handlebars that they've got. So Kyle, what can you tell me about what you brought today? Yeah, sure. So we obviously, LA Choppers does handlebars. That's what we're known for. Um, I brought a couple of our more popular style handlebars with me today to kind of talk to you and show you what we have available. Um, so if you're ready, I'll go ahead and get started with this one. Absolutely. So, so this is our Twin Peak Ape Hanger style handlebar. Uh, you've probably seen this bar. It's been around forever. It's easily our most popular handlebar that we produce. Uh, the special thing about this one is that this is actually a Twin Peak for a 24 Road Glide. So we are doing handlebars for the 23 CVOs and the 24 Road Glides and Street Glides as well. Uh, so I wanted to bring this one with me just so you could kind of see it and know that it is available. But Ape Hanger Twin Peak, super popular bar. Everybody loves it. Um, we also have some other Ape Hanger style bars. So we have our Grandes, our Prime Apes, all the good stuff that you would need. So it really comes down to comfort, right? It's what's right for you, what's comfortable for you. Because at the end of the day, you're changing your bar. Well, I take it back. A lot of people change their bars to look cool, but the, right. the main focus of it is that you want to be comfortable when you're riding. Sure. And that's something that we really focus on. And that's got to be really tough for you guys as a company, being able to, especially when you're shipping bars out, you know, try and explain to somebody what that bar is going to be like to have on his bike without him actually being able to sit on his bike, those bars. How do you address something like that? Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, obviously with this kind of stuff, we get into as much detail as we can. Uh, when we are out and about at events or rallies, you know, a lot of times we'll have a, a cool little machine with us. That's a little seat where you can put different bars on and you can actually sit on that, with that seat and you can feel the different bar sizes. Um, but a lot of it's just talking, you know, knowing what it is you're looking for, um, mm -hmm. what kind of, what style bar you're looking for, what you have on there now, how tall you are, you know, all those things play a factor and no one can tell you which one's right for you except for yourself. Sure. Great. So tell me a little bit about the construction on this bar. What goes into building that handlebar? Yeah. So like I said, we get these, we get all of these tubes in to our uh, location down in Huntington Beach. It starts out as a straight tube. We do all the bending and cutting and welding and everything like that in-house so we're even going through and we're you know softening the edges we're making sure on those sharp turns that you're going to be able to pull the wires through nice and neat and easily as well nothing to get snagged on or caught on in there yeah and that's important i i, I remember some of the bars back in the day especially when we went to the to the meat hooks and the, the 90 degree bends when it wasn't all rounded what a nightmare yeah. and they, they, those welds inside some of the bars would just chew up all the all the wires, all your sheathing oh, yeah. and everything. And, you know, I'd get them stuck sometimes if oh, I was yeah. running loom in it. Yes. And, you know, you couldn't get it to go one way or the other at that point. And, yes. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I think there was a couple pairs of bars that uh, went, across the, uh, went across the room. Yep. So we've also got these, you know, which feel pretty sporty right away. Yes. What, and it, you know, these look to be stainless. Oh, they so you're are. sending them out in raw. So what can you tell me about these? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. This is definitely going to be a much more aggressive bar than your traditional ape hanger. So this is our... Cage Fighter T-Bar. So T-Bar is the style of the bar. Cage Fighter is the name of this specific Cage Fighter. Uh, we do it, you can do it in a pullback or a straight. You can do all your standard heights for rise, all evens. Um, and in this one, yes, we did a finish in stainless. So stainless seems to be like something that a lot of people are digging, including me. Mm -hmm. I have these stainless too, on my yeah. own personal bike. Um, you know, you match your two into one stainless pipe that everybody has now. Mm -hmm. So having options to match it and look good. Uh, we have inch, inch and a quarter, and believe it or not, we will have inch and a half soon. So if you like those beefy, beefy bars, we'll have an option for you there too. Nice, nice. And everything, I'm sure, is just like the other bars. Everything smoothed out on the welds on the inside. And oh, absolutely, yeah. Every bar that we do is is kind of gone through the same rigorous process. So we have guys that are going in there and checking everything, you know, sanding by hand if they need to, welding by hand. All that stuff to make sure that, you know, when you get the bar and you're ready to install it, that you're not going to run into any hiccups or frustrations. And again, what I really like is you guys do it all in-house, and we always come back to made in America, mm -hmm. and you guys have the quality control right in-house, taking care of everything that needs to be taken care of, and I love supporting a, a company like that and giving you my money instead of somebody overseas. Yeah, no, absolutely, and you know, being made in America and doing everything in-house is a, you know, a very important part of, of LA Choppers, you know, like I said earlier. It, it gives us a chance to, to really control the quality of the product and to, you know, have our hands on it and make sure that we're putting out a product that, you know, we're proud of. Very cool. Well, again, thank you so much for coming out and showing me what you've got to work with. And yes, uh, looking forward to seeing you again soon. Always a good time. Thank you. Right on. Well, wait, don't go anywhere until you like and subscribe to make sure you get notified every time we post our how-to videos, our product reviews, and all of our amazing interviews with your favorite racers and industry icons. I'll see you guys next time.